Hi, welcome back to my channel Med Connection. I am Dr. Sugandha and I am here to talk about immune system today. So let's get started. Today we will first discuss about the importance of immune system, what it is made of and the way it works. In the later part of the video, we will discuss about its types. You might have heard about immune system a lot, especially these days when the world is going through COVID-19 pandemic. Almost everybody is trying to improve his her immunity through one way or the other. Various organisms like the bacteria, viruses and so forth, they surround us all the time. Some of these could be good, could be bad and some could be neutral for us. For example, dahi or yogurt, which we include in a diet every day, they contain healthy or good bacteria, which helps in regulating the digestive system and also they helps in decreasing gas, diarrhea, bloating and even constipation. Also by including dahi or yogurt in your diet every day, you continue to supply your GIT with healthy bacteria. This healthy bacteria prevents the bad bacteria from taking over and resulting in good immune and GIT health. Then we can see we have other organisms which we call them pathogens, which are actually dangerous for us. Luckily our body has an excellent surveillance and defense system which works 24-7 round the clock to detect fight and destroy these pathogens and this system is called as the immune system this immune system prevents these pathogens from entering our bodies and causing a disease thus it is very important for our life the best part about our immune system is it knows very well how to distinguish between healthy unhealthy pathogens or non self foreign invaders and it detects and destroys and clears away these. Thus you can understand how important this immune system is for our health and for our life. Now let's move on to the components of the immune system. The immune system is made primarily of the WBCs, which we call as the white blood cells or the leukocytes. These cells continuously patrol in our body. Few of these cells are stored in the lymph nodes, bone marrow, spleen and the thymus as a backup. Whenever while patrolling, they recognize something suspicious they multiply and send signal to the other WBCs to take appropriate actions. These WBCs are majorly of two types, the phagocytes and the lymphocytes. The phagocytes, these surrounds and engulf and eats up pathogens and provide a primary form of immunity called the innate immunity. While the lymphocytes are the specialized form of cells and they give more advanced immunity known as the adaptive immunity. These are specialized in remembering their pathogens and identifying when these attack again. Now, to make the video more simpler, we'll talk only about the two form of lymphocytes here, the B cells and the T cells. The B cells. The B cells produce antibodies and they also have the T cells. Antibodies, also known as immunoglobulins, these are proteins that protect us when an unwanted substance or a pathogen enters our body. These bind to these pathogens in order to eliminate them from the system. Antibodies are highly specific. One type of B cell produces one type of antibody that bind only to its specific antigen on the pathogen. For example, antibodies on the SARS-CoV-2 spike proteins targets only the spike proteins, while other B cells produces different antibodies which are specific for other pathogens. Thus, overall, you have a large number of antibodies and large number of B cells which produces them. The T cells. Well, the function is to destroy virus infected cells. The T cells also helps the B cells in making antibodies. So, in a nutshell, all of these cells work together in our body and provide a good immune health. Now, let's discuss about the types of immunity. Immunity depends on one's age, the physical exercises they perform, their eating habits and also their mental thoughts. The immunity which we are born with is called as the innate immunity. The immunity which is developed with encountering various organisms and with age is called as the adaptive immunity and this adaptive immunity lasts for decades. There is one other form of immunity called as acquired immunity which we get artificially by injecting inactivated pathogens in the form of vaccines or its genetic material in our body, which produces antibodies against them. So that was all about today's video. I hope you like it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching my channel.